do it like that. Like that. Hey, maybe like that. Hey, oh yeah, let's do that. Mm. Oh yeah. Some, hey, let me switch the game up on y'all. Alright. What's happening? So let's go ahead and just jump into it, right into it. Yeah, mm hmm. Yeah, you seen it? Uh huh. We rolling today. All right, let's get into it. There are many ways to uh, apply fragrance and smell good. We know this. Sometimes it's not all that convenient though. You might, you know, have to reapply in a crowded room or something like that. Or you may just want to reapply fragrance without, you know, drawing too much attention to yourself. You may find yourself traveling and want to leave, you know, something, have something small in your backpack, you know, you can pack away or maybe leave it in a toiletry bag or something like that. Maybe a rollerball might be for you. And this company that we're going to chat about today, you know, they're bringing some, you know, a wide variety of designer and niche scents at some great prices, all right? And the company I'm talking about today is Oil Perfumery. You know, I couldn't find any exact info about when this company first came to be, but I do know that when I purchased this from many years ago, so I mean, I can believe that they've been around for probably like at least 10 years or so, you know? I'm guessing. But nonetheless, this company is a North American company that has 100% alcohol free and some of their ingredients are sourced from around the world. Quick disclaimer, I'm not sponsored by Oil Perfumery or anything like that, so don't trip. I think it's just another option that I wanted to bring to you guys. You know, we, we, we talk about it, you know. These are vegan and cruelty free, so, you know, there you go. These oils are manufactured in France as well, so we, we. There isn't much to this presentation, but before we talk about that, go ahead and smash, hold, smash that subscribe button so you don't miss a beat, you know what I'm saying? And toss me a like or two while you're down there or something. I'll let your boy. All right, anyways, look, this is a small, um, sleek and simple bottle. There ain't nothing to, to complain about, nothing to write home about either, but you know, here we go. I know that I got some Killian clones uh, like a couple years back and the bottle was blue, but like I said, other than that, it just has a simple black twist off cap, you know, white label, says the name of the fragrance it's inspired by. And you know, in this case, it's Santal 33. It says, our impression of Le Labo pure perfume oil packaged in Canada for external use only and um, uh, I don't know where else you'd be thinking of putting this at but uh, where they felt like they need to put that but like on your, on your tongue or something like that like okay so taking off this cap obviously you know there's no atomizer to speak of in this place is a steel roller ball with a plastic liner that I'm thinking is there to keep uh, this from leaking out while it's being you know jostled around because this is something that a lot of you are going to want to carry with you, you know, because of its size. You know, I have some older bottles um, from them and they definitely leak a bit, but you know, so far so good with this one. I haven't taken it out too much, but when I did, you know, it seemed to be just fine. So speaking on this rollerball, it makes for a very smooth, controllable application. And because of perfume oil, you don't have to worry about spraying this and, and misting it and 30% of what you just sprayed, you know, falls on the floor. It's a direct application and you can place it exactly where you want to. And for those of you with drier skin, this, this might also help you out a little bit. You know, the fact that this is a fragrance oil suspended in another carrier oil, you know, the oil of nature of this will help protect it from evaporating off your skin quickly. So it's gonna be there a lot longer. Now, this will project but nowhere near as much as a typical liquid spray from an atomizer, so just know that. But let's talk about the actual fragrance that this is a uh, direct clone of as well. And as I go through some of the performance of this fragrance, I'll get more into what it's like using a roll-on perfume oil. As far as this note breakdown for this particular fragrance, we're uh, looking at Santal 33 from Le Labo. Le Labo is a company out of New York. Um, and I love the branding of this company. I don't own anything from them at the moment, but I do know that I like what I see from them. And with that being said, I believe Centile 33 is like one of their flagship fragrances. Um, believe it has its, uh, you know, the most brand recognition when people think of the Le Labo. And Centile 33 is spicy, 
warm, leathery, you know, signature scent worthy, it's subtle. It's, it's not trying too hard to uh, really be anything, you know, and it doesn't have to. So let's talk about some of those notes. So in the top, you have uh, sandalwood and cedarwood, and you got some papyrus, which is also a very interesting note. In the mid, you have violet, iris, cardamom. In the base, you have leather, amber, and some more cedar. And so the opening on this one is, is spicy and it's uh, one other thing that just absolutely seems out of place for that note composition. I've heard this said more than once that uh, this has a pickle accord. And I've smelled this for, you know, several times. And for whatever reason, as I was putting together this review, thinking that I've never smelled that in this fragrance before. And then like I applied it to my wrist and then all of a sudden just pow, pickles, pickle jar. You know, I'm like, no, you know, so I also have another fragrance that I picked up that this was also a clone of that I'm going to talk about one of these days, but it was a spray. I sprayed this on, you know, for good measure, just make sure I wasn't tripping today. Boy, Pickly Pete, I couldn't believe I missed that this whole time. And it, that goes away after a minute or so. Then it gets right into the good part of this fragrance, the dry aromatic woody notes in the middle of this fragrance you get a lot of that cardamom adding to the spiciness and the dry slightly green papyrus is really nice thing to add you know a little bit of intrigue the violet and the iris are present and aren't that important to me this fragrance is mostly about this dry spicy aromatic as this fragrance dries down more it seems to be something that is uh built with like this leather backing Kind of like almost if you took like all of those spicy ingredients um, and laid it down on top of a piece of suede, you get little hints of resinous amber, you know, adding a tiny bit of sweetness, but you know, not too much. It's, it's slight, almost undetectable. I can see why this fragrance gets a lot of hype though. It's not perfect for everyone. It's a lighter, wispy kind of fragrance that's not trying to be too heavy in the dry down this is mostly smells a lot like a uh, you know like a block of cedar this wants to kind of waft in the air a little bit the performance on this one isn't as great as i thought it would be that could be me but i was expecting a little bit more longevity on my skin i feel like it should last at least around six hours on my skin in this oil concentration but that's, you know, simply not the case here. Don't know if it's this formulation or if it's this particular fragrance. Typically when I've heard about this one, you know, people talking about this one, they, they all say it's like a lighter whispier scent. It, it's not hanging around for a long time. Based off, you know, my previous purchases I made from a few years back, things like, uh, I can't remember, I think I purchased a Tom Ford Oud Wood clone and also you know, uh, straight from heaven from Killian. Again, that could have played a role in how long these scents last. So I'm gonna have to, you know, pick something else up and then and, and see how that goes. As far as the hours on my skin, you're honestly, you know, you're gonna get to about the six hour mark and then, you know, maybe even a little less than that and then it's gonna be done. Typically, you know, perfume oils last a little bit longer on skin, you know, but hey, it's, I don't know. It is what it is with this one. Longevity on clothes. I would highly recommend you not put this on your clothes. You know, it might leave a stain more than likely and it might be something that's really hard to come out since it's oil. Maybe your wrist, maybe, you know, the bends of your elbow. You know, my favorite spot for oils, you know, is right here, right there behind the ear. The projection on this one, it's going to be a little bit mild. You know, one, you know, from this being the fragrance oil and two, I don't think this particular scent pre, uh, projects that strongly. As as far as the CRs, there isn't much CRs to speak of with this scent either. It's not bad and it's, you know, it's not great. I don't think they're actually trying to be either of those things. This is more of an airy scent, you know, kind of close to you, kind of somebody wanting to be a little bit more subtle. Maybe those of you who, you know, find yourself wearing an essential oil for a fragrance or something like that. It's light, airy, a bit dry, a little bit mysterious. You know, I like that, all right? So when to wear this, I think you could bring this out whenever you want. It, you know, I could see this suiting someone as their, you know, their main or their signature scent. This is a bit bold, you know, enough for the cold, you know, but won't overdo it with the aromatics and the spicy notes in the warmer months. If anything, I've read a lot of reviews where people actually hate this scent you know maybe they smell the pickly parts 
and they ain't, you know, and it ran them off. You know, maybe they thought about the scent, you know, and they thought it was gonna blow them away, and it didn't. You know, this fragrance is is more for the subtle type person. Leading right into that, who's this for? Someone who wants something interesting, non-boring, office friendly, but chill around the house, run errands, and be breezy. It's for you. You know, this is a unisex scent with a, a, a masculine appeal to it. Something you can bring with you and know you have something that you can apply quickly and keep the scent going, you know what I'm saying? So all things considered, I think the overall quality here, I think it's fine. You know, I got some of the things from them before and I was very pleased. You know, they actually projected pretty well, even though, you know, it is a rollerball and it's perfume oil. The longevity was great. So if you pick something else from them, results may vary and from fragrance to fragrance, you know, I've read so many reviews from them and unless you are paying all of those people off, then for the most part, you're going to get a great product. You know, like I said, I got some myself for, for not too many coins, you know, ah, the price. So rollerballs tend to be a lot easier on your pockets than sprays. There's a few reasons for that, but in general, they are less expensive. From oil perfumery site, prices vary depending on the, the ingredients they use, you know, how they formulate them to recreate a fragrance. So just like whoever cloned the original fragrance, you know, maybe made by some materials that, you know, just simply cost more. So you will see a range anywhere from around 15 bucks all the way to somewhere around $25. Uh, this Le Labo was around like $22. So somewhere in the middle. They're pretty good about dropping coupons and discounts around like almost any holiday you could think of. I get emails all the time. Plus, I believe like they pass out those coupon codes to uh, some reviewers. And uh, when I start getting some of those codes, you guys will be the first one to know. You know what I'm saying? I got to take care of the guys. You know what I'm saying? So where can you buy this? You can scroll, swipe, you know, right over to Oil Perfumery site. Scroll through their list of fragrances. They even allow you to uh, search by the original fragrance that this is a clone of. So that will make it a lot easier for you to find exactly what you're looking for. Also, side note, while on their site, I saw that they do actually make their own original creations. Haven't had any experience with those, but hey, maybe there's something they make that hey, you wanna check out. And if you have, sound off in the comment section and hey, put me on game, let me know what's up. Should you blind buy this? Mm, yeah, I think this is a pretty safe bet. You know, all the factors met up here and pushed this like right over the edge to make this a blind buy recommendation. Something to bring with you. I mean, maybe you take it to public transportation to work or something like that and you don't want to be projecting too heavy when you're in a pack bus or train. This is something you can take, you know, put a few small circles on your wrist, you know, behind your ears, something like that. Something while you're walking to your job, maybe you want to freshen up or something, you know, go to the bathroom. So to wrap this up, I think Oil Perfumer is coming through, giving you another option, another way to apply perfume as well as being an oil. There are a lot of things to choose from. They have a wide variety of designer and niche scents that are worth a look. And get down there in the comments section and let me know what you think. And if you haven't subscribed yet, now's the perfect time to do so. But hey man, I appreciate you guys and all that you do. I'll see you in the next one. Those kids. I feel like that. Like that. Hey, baby. Like that. Hey. Oh, yeah. Let's do that.